y'all, Nick Cannon is going to say only God can dis determine. God's going to decide how many babies he can have. What? I'm sitting outside of my porch. It's no, it's no, it's no, it's no, baby daddy. And little Michael is cleaning up the snow from the steps. Because little Lexi, well, Lexi's not going out today. Lexi program is canceled. Because we got a little dust, you know. They be scared. Because <laughs> it's transportation. They got the, the consumers have to get picked up. So they're like, snow tomorrow, canceled. Zoom classes tomorrow. So I'm sitting on my porch. I'm loving the snow. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. I finally got just a little bit of snow. It wasn't enough. But, you know, I'm just thankful for anything. So, so yeah, y'all. Say hi. Hi. So, I lost another teeth. I lost another Show them your teeth. But your big teeth is coming in. Ain't God good? What will he do? Two big teeth. Two big teeth is coming in. No, three. Three is coming in. Wow, that's a lot of teeth. I'm wearing my hair up in the air today. I just love the freedom of my hair. Anyways, y'all, uh, what y'all doing? Did this know where you are if you're in the Northeast? Happy Tuesday. Good morning. It's so beautiful. I'm looking forward to sitting on my porch again. <clears throat> um, It's really nice out here. No, I don't need a jacket. No, I'm not cold because I love the gold, okay? <laughs> Be sure to thumbs up. Share this out. Uh, you can share this in your Facebook, on your Instagram, on your YouTube, if you have YouTube, on your Twitter. Um, share it out for me and help me to grow this channel. I want to thank you for your love and your support. I absolutely adore you. Thank you for everything you have done. Thank you for those of you who are taking my husband profile course. I just want to remind you that uh, we've changed our names uh, for, to the remnants. You can we can still call each other cousin Janice, but uh, the remnants. Okay. So thank you for your love and support. So here is silly Nick Cannon talking about God can decide how many babies he has. This is why when people talk about God, when people talk about God. You got to ask what kind of God they're talking to. Because I know he ain't talking about the God of the Bible. Okay. I know he ain't talking. He can't possibly. When people talk about God, just in case, because I've noticed my internet went out a little bit. When people talk about God, you got to figure out what kind of God they're talking about, child. Because ain't no way he talked about the God of the Bible. Ain't no way he talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob want us to be married. He don't want us fortificating. So this is from the inside. And the canon said he's letting God decide if he should have more children when I'm 85. You never know. Sir, what? 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 And I wanted to do this video on my Growing Generational Wealth channel because, you know, Black people, we think as long as the man have money, that's enough. See, a lot of us didn't grow up with two-parent homes and fathers in the household was providing, protecting, and loving and teaching. So that's that's why a lot of Black people make excuses for Nick Cannon, say he got the money as if money is the only thing a child needs. No, he needs to be outside with his father. It's snowing. Even though we have a landscaper, a snowman that's coming, Michael is still outside showing little Michael how to shovel snow. This is how you do it. You got to shovel the steps. So if mommy needs to get out, mommy can't get out. You know what I mean? He needs a father in the home teaching him. This is what you do. This is how you, you be a man. It's not just about money. And Nick Cannon is having all these kids all over the place and these stupid, foolish women think because he got money, that's okay. It's not okay. Okay. My baby daddy. My baby daddy. He was supposed to go in the city today. They said, no, they said, canceled. <laughs> canceled. <laughs>
So I don't know how you're talking about God is going to decide, sir. Which God? It can't be the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob wants you to be married. Nick Hannah attends the Fox up front on May 20th of New York City. Nick Hannah said he's letting God tell him when it's time to have more children. The mass singer host posted entertainment tonight about kids and his his upcoming tour. Hannah also said he's definitely got his hands full with 11 children. The musician television host spoke to entertainment tonight's uh, Kevin Frazier ahead of his upcoming future superstar tour during which he'll meet and work with Rising Town in 24 cities. Watch your daughters, ladies. Watch your daughters. Watch your daughters. Now, I'm going to say, I got to give credit where credit is due. One thing I can say, though, none of these women he's having children are, are teenagers. You know, like that other one that married the, that's been grooming that girl from she was 14 and married her when she turned 18. I, I'm gonna give Nick Cannon that. I will say none of these, none of these kids, girl, women are teenagers. When I say teenagers, I mean 18, 19, 20. These are fully grown women, so they know the difference. When asked if he's planning on having more children, Cannon said he's looking to higher power. If I see there, higher power, higher power. Ladies, in my book, 23 Thousand Guys You Mind Me, I talk about the men who talk about higher power. And when you're dating, when they say believe in higher power, you need to run to the hills from what's coming with your help. We don't believe in no higher power. Believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of the living God. Over here, we believe that there is only one God. We respect people's rights to believe what they want to believe and worship how they want to worship. I have Muslims and Hindus and Jewish girls in my mentoring program, and I have mentored Hindus, Muslims, and Jewish ladies. So, you know, I feel people have a right. But over here at the remnant, we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and he is the one and only God. So, ladies, when you are dating... In gathering data, one of the things you need to quickly catch on is when a man say, higher power, eat your chicken and go home. Because he don't believe in Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. God decide when we're done, but I believe it. Definitely got my hands full, he said, and I'm so focused, I'm locked in. But when I'm 85, you know, you can't be focused, sir. You're not focused and you're not locked in with 11 children with 55 baby mamas. Cannon welcomed his 12th child, a daughter named Halo, with model Alyssa Scott in December 22, the birth cape of a whirlwind period for his family, which grew from seven to 11 children in, in a year. Cannon's first child was Scott Zen. He died from brain cancer in December 20, 2001. I remember that was so sad. The committee also said he wants to be in a position to provide for all his kids. So are you not in a position to provide? Because provision is more than money. Come on, somebody. Provision is hugging your kids every night. Provision is reading to your kids every night. Provision is being in the home every night. Provision is sitting at the table every night. Position is giving the baby a bath, running the baby his bath water. Provision is more than money. And see, a lot of people think provision is more, is only about money. No, no, no. Yeah, I want your money, but I want you to be there for my children and read and teach them. <clears throat> Showing them how to shovel the snow. Or even if he's not shoveling, like I said, we have uh, we have our, our landscaper, Jose, shout out to Jose. Jose texted me yesterday. And he said, I'm going to be around you around this time. I'm like, cool. But my husband still got up this morning and because little Michael wanted to be out in the snow playing. So he said, you know what? I'm going to shovel the steers and I'm going to do around here while little Michael is playing. It's a blessing, man. Wait a minute. The comedian also said he wants to be in a position to provide for his children who he co-parents with six women as they pursue their passions. It's a blessing, man. Like, hopefully, because of what I am able to do, my kids can do whatever they want to do to be able to be in a position that if they want to be nuclear sci science psychics, I know somebody at an Ivy League school that I could hit up, he said. 
Well, how you how they gonna do that? You're not there to help with the homework. If they want to go to the military, they want to be artists. If they want to be actors, it's the thing where we have the capability. Let's start start talking about it now. We can help you. How you gonna talk to them? The baby mama's got to make appointments to talk to you. The entertainment also mentioned God when discussing his family plans. What's his name? <laughs> What's his name? Think about it. You can be like, no, I'm not done. Like, what if God says, no, you're not? God also say you should not fornicate. God also say not to have kids out of wedlock. Talk about what God said. <laughs> he continued, I come from a big family. I have several siblings and raised in an unorthodox family by my grandparents. At times, I've experienced such a wide range of upbringing that I have such a lot. See, you would think because of that, you would want to be with one woman. And, and let's say him and Mar Mariah didn't work out because, you know, that was all for Mariah to have the baby. Okay, I'll overlook that. I, I always overlook one over here at the church girls. Uh, but let's say you just get you another wife and marry her and have kids with her. You don't have to have kids all over the place. I want a big family too. The Lord has blessed me. Stop with the Lord that I've asked for. But I, how come you ain't asking? How come you not listen to what he say about marriage and having kids in the home, in a marriage? How come you're not listening to him about that? See, people want to pick and choose, but see, he don't believe in the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why we got to be here. All right, y'all. I love you. I love you. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> Let me know what you think. Um, married at first sight. I'm going to try to do a live tonight, okay? I'm home. I got to take my nap. And um, married at first sight. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do a live tonight at 6 p.m. Try try <laughs> so come on back and let me know what you think Mwah! love you talk to you later bye all right love you